What's going on riders? It's uh, another Tuesday, another ride home review, although I watched this movie yesterday, um, which is Solo, a Star Wars story starring Alden Ehrenreich, uh, Donald Glover, Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube, like, like Ride Home Reviews on Facebook, follow on Instagram plus the anchor channel and iTunes so there you have it um, the synopsis of the movie basically is about um, an origin story of sorts of the ever popular character of Han Solo and Chewbacca um, amongst others so it takes place several years before the events of Han Solo meeting Luke Skywalker in Obi-Wan Kenobi um, what I liked about this movie was it was an interesting take on a different side of the Star Wars universe away from uh, the Empire. The Empire was there for as an overshadowing being, but not really the main protagonist as it has been, or, or the First Order, however you want to call it. First Order is basically an Empire derivative. Um, and I liked that. I liked, of course, the places that um, the, the team went to, uh, um, you know, the folks, I just liked the overall, um, feel that there's an other side to this galaxy and we explored it. I really enjoyed that. I liked the characters. The story was really good. Um, uh, the action was there. Everything you'd want in a, you know, a regular Star Wars film. Um, and so it did, it hit on all the levels, especially, uh, the scene, um, uh, the scene in where they were escaping Kessel, the flying, the, the flying was just spectacular. What it kept you on the edge of your seat. It was really, really good. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, I thought the villains were there. Um, there was a special surprise villain, um, that kind of shocked me a little bit, um, but hey, uh, it's all part of the overarching story that is being weaved through these new um, these new elements that are being developed. So, so there you have it. Uh, there's connections to all the all the franchises, um, and it just was interesting uh, what they did with that. What um, and yeah, I mean. What I didn't like, um, let me get good into that a little bit, um, was uh, I felt that, I don't know if I'm being a biased Star Wars fan and what I grew up with, but it just felt like it just didn't have the same heart. Um, although there was a lot of interesting stuff and a lot of, I mean, it was a great story and the, the actors were great. And um, I think I have to get over some of my biasness of what I've read and what I've seen before um in this but i just felt that um the uh the development of the chewbacca han solo relationship was just overshadowed a little bit i wanted to see a little bit more of that i felt it was just kind of glossed over and not as deep as i would have expected and i was not a fan of the droid l337 um i just didn't i got I think I'm getting a little tired of the sassy droid syndrome here. I mean, K2SO was great in Rogue One, but this one was just a little, she was just a little over the top. However, they incorporated it, um, her into the ongoing saga. And what to watch for um, in, this, in this film is Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian. I felt he stole the show. I really enjoyed his presence on the screen and the portrayal that he had and that he did. And he sounded just like Billy D Williams. And so, I mean, it's a great, it's a great movie. Um, well, it's a good movie. I mean, I wouldn't say it's my favorite out of all the new ones, but, um, but it's definitely something to see. So there you have it. Solo, a star Wars story must see it in the theaters just for the effect. But until next I, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow Instagram, and see you next week.